Welcome back, everybody. It's Dr. A. I'm an associate professor of economics at the Hale College of Business at Northern Kentucky University. And on this channel, we talk about economics, and it's all the economic concepts that you all want to learn more about, but also how to navigate uh, being an econ student uh, or econ faculty member. So if you're new to this channel, leave a comment, introduce yourself. would love to develop the community. Today, we're talking about something that's near and dear to my heart, and that is the Hale Econ Fellows Re Summer Research Program. So I'm going to do a little recap. We're going to hear from the students uh, about what they've learned, some of the things, some of the advice that they have for you or future uh, researchers. So we have five Hale Econ Fellows this year, Becca, James, Grace, Fawaz, and Dylan. And they've been doing a great job, and we'll talk about their research. So in today's video, we're going to talk about what their summer research process looks like, their unique research questions, and we hope that by giving you what questions they're tackling, it might give you some ideas for your own research. And then in our halfway check, halfway through the summer check, we're going to get some lessons that they've learned that they want to pass on to you and future econ fellows. First up is Fawaz. Fawaz is a rising junior. He's an econ student. And right now, he is interested in a question about looking at the relationship between obesity and labor market outcomes. And this is important because uh, this is Fawaz's first time doing research. And one of the things that he says he learned, a lesson that he wanted pa wants to pass on, is be curious and always know your why. And one thing about Fawaz is he's probably going to pivot from this research question because as he's reading, he's learning new things and finding new areas that he's interested in. That's what I love about the program is it allows students to learn about what they like and figure out what their why is. But throughout the summer, there's a couple of things that he's learned. One, he's learned how to read economic literature papers and understand economic models. But most importantly, in the spring, he was working on uh, he took a class with me on how to code and uh, use data. And over the summer, he's going back and revising all of his code and improving it uh, so he could learn how to code and data better. Next up is Dylan. Dylan is a rising sophomore. So he just completed his first year uh, at Northern Kentucky University. He is a computer science major and a minor in economics for now. Uh, and he's interested in a research question that examines the changing value of higher education. So he's trying to empirically examine if the value of a higher education has changed over time. And the motivation of this research is due to the fact that the, 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 the discussion in public circles right now is the, co the value of college education is actually diminishing and what Dylan's finding, and it's pretty early, so I don't want to pigeonhole him to, the, to these results because they might change, but right now it's looking like the returns to the value of education are about $20,000 on an annual basis. Uh, and he's finding that that gap, the returns to higher education, are actually increasing over time. So this is valuable research. It's a question that a lot of students have. It's a question a lot of people in the public and policy uh, arena are asking today. So I'm excited about his research and I'm excited that he still has three more years in college to continue to hone his research skills. Uh, one thing that he did learn about through this process is the American Community Survey and he believes that it's a valuable asset. I'm biased too because I teach classes on how to utilize the American Community Survey to create insight. Uh, as far as advice for next year's Fellows, choose a research question that you are passionate about, is what Dylan says. Next up is Grace. Grace is a rising senior. She's both a marketing and econ major, and I love that combination because I think they uh, complement each other really well. Her research question is motivated by an economic theory called the backward bending labor supply model. And the idea here is as wages increase, after a while, people start to substitute away from labor to leisure. So as wages go get higher, people actually might work less. So her research question is, do the rich work or play more? And she's using the American Time Use Survey to kind of to try to examine and find empirical evidence for this uh, economic theory. And as far as the lessons that she has learned so far, she has learned that research is 
not a one size fit all process. There's going to be setbacks and you need a good team to help you uh, stay uh, on, pa on path and on track and to serve as a, as a support system. And that's one thing that I love about our lab that we're creating over here at the Hale College of Business is we have such a close-knit support group and people that are willing to help each other throughout the process. Her advice for next year's fellows is research what interests you beyond the traditional topics. And the idea here is economics is so broad and part of identifying how broad it is is researching the multiple paths that you could go through and ask about and topics that you could investigate. So don't pigeon your hole, your, uh, pigeonhole yourself too early. Next up are two of the Hale Econ Fellows that I'm working most with this summer because they're actually working with me on some consulting projects that we have going on at the Hale College of Business. The first is James. James is a senior. He's graduating soon, so if you're looking for an economist or economic researcher, uh, James is a, I'm re recommending him to you. Uh, James is interested in uh, Appalachia and the economic development of Appalachia. So he's asking the question or examining mining related jobs and poverty in Appalachia. He just wants to understand what's going on, what are the policies that might be able to help the region. And as far as lessons learned, he learned quickly that his question that he first wanted to tackle was too broad. And that's common. It happens a lot in economics where we start off really broad with our question and we need to narrow it. And he finally got to a specific question and that's mining related jobs and poverty in Appalachia. So pick a question, dig a little bit deeper, become more specific. Advice for next year, and James is really good about this, is he's created one week and two week uh, milestones that he needs to hit to make sure that he uh, gets to complete his project by the due date that he has set, which is presenting this paper at the Kentucky Economic Association. Becca also is a senior, and she is actually an accounting major interested in economics and economic development. So one thing that's interesting to her is she's examining uh, U.S. household structure um, and also, where do these household structures uh, live? So the geographic distribution of household types. And she's interested mostly in double income, no kids households. And where are they more likely to exist? And I think eventually she's going to look at if there's any tax, uh, if, ta if people are responding to tax structure in where they live. And there's a whole literature about this, but that's the area that she's interested in. As far as the lessons that she has learned, is there's a wide range of research questions and opportunities, and you need to take advantage, and you need to ask why are you interested in these questions, and it's, it's a common theme across all the fellows. You have to be curious. As far as advice for next year's fellows, establish accountability beyond research, and the thing that I love about working with Becca is she's interested in developing beyond just the research. So our discussions are about professional development, navigating workforce, leadership. Uh, so she's interested in things that will help her beyond her economic research specifically, or actually might help her with her economic research. And that's the navigating the politics of corporate America. So, uh, and that's one thing that I love about our program at the, uh, at the fellows program is it extends beyond economic research. We're investing in developing the entire student and uh, helping them navigate life. It's been fun working with the students. And uh, uh, the summer is going by really quickly. And I just wanted to update you all on what we're doing and really amplify the work that my students are doing. I'm extremely proud of what they're, they have been able to accomplish. I know they still have a long path ahead of them. But it's also important for us to take a stop here at July and regroup and figure out what we have accomplished to use it as motivation to continue going. If you found this helpful, leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, we're, we're hoping to create this content so we could encourage future researchers uh, to also find their own research questions, but also to develop a community. If you haven't joined the Discord, I'll leave a link in the, uh, in the description for you to be able to access the Discord. 
The discussion there has been amazing, a lot of great things happening. Thank you once again. My name is Dr. A. Make sure to subscribe. See you all next time.